evening. It is a win worth a million pounds to Lincoln City and one which guaranteed the football club's return to league football following a six-year absence. After their victory over Macclesfield Town at the weekend, the board of directors of this afternoon begun planning for next year. It's a season which has seen the Imps play Arsenal in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. And on Saturday, more than 10,000 fans were at Sinsel Bank to see them clinch promotion. Our sports reporter Simon Clark has this. This was a moment of immense joy and huge relief. League status returned after an often grim six years in the non-league world. More than anything, it's the way this team is connected with the fans that stands out. And they arrived in big numbers. 10,000 for this one, including Jordan, who two days earlier decided to fly in from his home in Australia. It's just a massive day for the club and it's been a short notice sort of thing for me to come. But I'm really proud and, yeah, I'm so excited. Well, they didn't all go to plan. Macclesfield scored the opening goal and it was a decent strike too. But it didn't last long, that lead, because at about this point on the pitch, Terry Hawkridge produced some magic. Shot to the shot! Great save for the keeper! Follow up! Lincoln City! Have you ever? Terry Hawkridge has got the goal! And then the sublime moment, 15 minutes from the end. Hawkridge thinks about the shot, driving forward. Now crazy to jump into the goal! Terry Hawkridge, you little beauty! A late scare, but the Imps held firm. They're going up. It's a weird one, because I'm feeling emotional and... It's just like that, but we've got, we've got two more games to go and we can maybe celebrate then, so it's amazing. It's been absolutely magical. Yeah, I think the Cowleys have done tremendously well. Brilliant. Day one, we've done things properly and done things professionally. And that, I think that's been our uh, maybe our greatest attribute. I can't believe it. I'm out of my mind. Whoa. Excellent season all year. Cowley's marvellous. Tonight, the club holds a board meeting. Planning for next season in League Two is underway. Simon Clark, Beavis Look North, Lincoln. Well, the win at the weekend means that Lincoln City are back in the league after a six-year absence and is a personal triumph for their manager, Danny Cowley, who was appointed just 11 months ago. I'll be talking to him in just a moment. But first, Kate Sweeting has spent the day in Lincoln finding out what Saturday's result means to the people there. Lincoln is a city of celebration. Their football club has had an outstanding season and their success is on everyone's lips. Absolutely amazing. Brilliant. Big impact. People are happy and, and they got something in common to talk about, so yes. Yeah, it was fantastic. I've been to a few games this year. So yeah, it was good to see them go up, finally do it. And local businesses are already feeling the benefit. This gift shop says its imps mugs are flying off the shelves. This has put Lincoln back on the map, really. You know, the exposure it's had on the TV. Um, it's the first time we've been live on Match of the Day on prime time. Um, and people have seen the cathedral and, and people have developed an interest in Lincoln and finding out more about it. And it's helped us and, and hopefully we're helping, helping the city as well. Lots of people going online and thinking, where is this great city? Pictures obviously on the um, television have helped that. And then we've obviously seen an increase in uh, new um, visitors to our website as well. At Bishop King Church of England Primary School, football is the favourite subject. Sinsel Bank is just a few hundred yards from this school and the success of their local team is certainly inspiring these young fans and potential future players. Everyone's talking about Lincoln City Football Club and everyone's wanting to go to the games and like wanting to cheer them on for, to, for them to win. They've done so well and they, they've, done their, they've tried their hardest to go into League Two and things. Let's just say this, I would like to be a footballer when I'm older. I'll try to get myself into Lincoln City, but when I'm in Lincoln City, I am not leaving. Well, the children nowadays are not talking about Messi, Suarez and Neymar. They are now talking about Reed, Arnold and Hawkridge, and that makes me so proud as an Imps fan. Lincoln City will now celebrate their promotion with an open-top bus tour a week tomorrow and these young fans will be hoping to be front of the crowds. Kate Sweeting, BBC Look North in Lincoln.
Well, joining me now is the uh, hero of the hour from uh, Lincoln, the uh, city's manager, uh, Danny Cowley. Uh, Danny, congratulations. How does it feel then standing next to that tonight? Yeah, it's a pretty good feeling. I've, had, I've certainly had worse weekends. <laughs> so, no, it, was a, it was a great day for, for everybody associated with Lincoln City Football Club. How do you think you managed to achieve it? I mentioned there the 11 months. I mean, that's nothing. I mean, the speed has been incredible, hasn't it? It has. It has. Um, for us, we, we just try really hard, try really hard on a, on a daily basis. And, and it just shows you what you can achieve with, with like-minded people. Did you know that you had it in you to do this and do it in the speed that you've done it in? Well, I think Nicky and I believe in our skill set and we believe in our work ethic and we're, we're lucky enough to work with a lot of good people here. This is, this is a great football club and it's got a lot of very, very good people. And, um, and yeah, no, it's been a privilege to, to work at the club and to, to work with so many wonderful people. You've also developed this uh, great relationship with the supporters in a, in a relatively short space of time. Um, how important have they been in this and how have you developed that relationship? Our supporters have been unbelievable from, from day dot. Um, you're right, we, we've got a unique relationship with our supporters. The, the great thing about, about Lincoln City, when you, when you compare it to Premier League clubs, is that if you support Lincoln City, you get, you, you get instant um, interaction with, with the players and the staff, and, and that's where it's unique. You know, sometimes you, you support Premier League club and you, you're, you're supporting them through a glass window. Um, we've been able to get out, been able to get out in the commun local community. The players have been great. They've given up lots of their time to get out and meet people and, and build relationships. Rel human relationships are built through, through interaction and, and that's what we've been able to do. Um, and the support has grown a, a, along the journey. You know, we've managed to have and success on the pitch. M oh, and w I mean, what, what's it like for you? Because this is the odd thing. You live in Essex. And nobody knows you there, really, do they? But in Lincoln, you can't move. I mean, that must be a bit of an odd existence for you. Certainly, it's, it's certainly been new to me. You're right, in, in Essex, my next-door neighbour doesn't know who I am. Um, <laughs> but, but in Lincoln, it's, it's slightly different. And, and no, we've, we've, we've got a great relationship with, with the Lincoln people. For, for us, when we come into the club, I think it was, we, we wanted to get to know the city and get to know the DNA of the city. We quickly worked out that it's a really honest, hard-working area. And, and we just tried to, to, to get a group of players that had similar qualities. And I think we've been able to do that. And as a, as a consequence, we've, we've managed to have a, have a real allegiance and, and build a real, real relationship with, with well, the community. Many congratulations. I, I know you've been in a, a board meeting. I mean, is your future to stay at Lincoln and have they given you a big budget? Our ambition is in the journey, and, and while we feel that we can add value, we will we 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 would we would love to stay. You know, for, for us, the success that we've had this season has to be a springboard to push on. We, we've we've done very well in, in the FA Cup, and, and the finances are looking good as a consequence. We now need to to, re, to reinvest that money to build an infrastructure for the club so that we can have continued success, and, well, and that's what we aim to do. Many. And, Many, and, and many. We, and we really look forward to the future. Absolutely. Many, many congratulations. Danny, uh, great honour to talk to you tonight. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you I very wish much. You well. And uh, you might want to comment on this. Uh, do you think 